Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. Today I want to talk to you about this absolute beast of a router, it's the ASUS RT-AX89X. And before we'll talk specifically about this device, let's talk about what makes a router good. First of all, it's connectivity. And when it comes to connectivity, this baby has it all. It has Wi-Fi 6, it has two 10 GBE LAN ports, which means that this baby is ready today for 10 GBE internet. It also has eight, not four, eight 1 GBE LAN ports that can be link aggregated. Now ASUS could have easily chipped out on the LAN ports, but they gave us eight, in certain cases completely eliminating the need for a network switch. But for me, what makes a router great is the commitment from the vendor to its product and to see that the vendor stands behind this device. And I see that by updates, firmware updates, when our vendor continues to provide regular updates for its devices, and ASUS is doing that in this device and other devices, I know that the vendor stands behind this device and continues to keep it relevant for years to come. And I know that if a vulnerability is found, for example, at some point in the future, that might risk my network, my privacy, my family privacy, I know that ASUS will patch that vulnerability in no time. This is what, for me, makes a router great. Now, for all the other features and uh, flashy lights, let's dive right into the computer and talk about everything this device brings to the table. Join me. All right, guys, so we are at the computer. I have taken the router, I factory reset it and connected it to my ISP and my computer. And instantly after the uh, device came online, it launched the new uh, device wizard. So we'll go through the wizard just so we will familiarize, our, familiarize ourselves. And then we'll dive into the web interface and I'll show you exactly why this device is so great and definitely on a prosumer level. Instead of just creating a network, let's, let's do it the, the advanced way. Let's click on advanced settings, operation mode, wireless router, of course. It's connected to the regular WAN port and not to the, uh, uh, to the 10, uh, 10 GBE port. So we'll choose WAN port. It's automatic IP for me, which means DHCP. I don't want to separate 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. For me, I don't have any use case for it. Let's call it ASUS RT AX89X. And let's give it a password. Let's click apply. I want to enable Wi-Fi 6 mode, of course. Let's give the router a username. This will be used when we log in to our router web interface. By the way, I would avoid using um, admin as a username. It's just the first thing an attacker will try. Just use something different than admin. And we we'll, uh, will not be able to complete the wizard without, uh, upgrade, uh, without uh, upgrading our firmware which is really in line with what I said before. There are always firmware upgrades. ASUS is doing a great job in providing updates. So we'll of course let the device update and I'll continue the, the recording once it's done. All right, so looks like the firmware upgrade is finished. It took, I don't know, about a minute. All right, so after reaching the summary page, the router actually reboots itself and applies to itself all the settings that we have configured and we have already automatically taken to the web interface once the uh, router has uh, came online. So let's log in and see exactly why this device is so great when it comes to uh, being feature rich. We are now logged in. This is the web interface. Generally, it's uh, organized pretty well. Now, there are a lot of things you can do here. So uh, I think that uh, um, for the prosumer, you will absolutely love the amount of things you can tweak and play with. Let's start with the most, let's say, basic uh, uh, settings and we'll see how this is not basic at all. Let's go, for example, to wireless. 
and I have enabled Smart Connect, meaning my 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands are combined into one SSID. My, wire, my wireless mode is set to auto, which is fine by me, Wi-Fi 6 enabled, that's great. Now, these are, these are all pretty basic uh, settings, there is nothing really fancy here, but look at how much settings we are getting that we can play with when it comes to uh, uh, Wi-Fi. Now, most, uh, uh, let's say, consumer-grade products do not even let you, uh, do not even give you the option in the interface to play with settings such as these. Uh, 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 it's very refreshing to see a vendor give the user so much control on their wireless. Uh, one more thing, if you have a, a, a wireless uh, 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 network with a lot of clients, what you should do is not only uh, use the uh, OFDMA uh, uh, technology, which is a sort of a, a bandwidth uh, uh, optimization uh, of wireless traffic, you can combine OFDMA and multi-user MIMO, which might, uh, uh, might enable uh, uh, better performance all around all clients. This is more of a multi-user kind of an optimization rather than, rather than being a single uh, client uh, towards the router. By the way, this is something that I would uh, like to see changing in the, in the future. When you change a setting and you uh, press apply, you need to wait for the setting to be applied, it takes, I don't know, 30 seconds or something like that, but there is no place, no, no way to uh, maybe queue the changes and then apply all of them. If you're familiar with uh, BDWRT, you can click on save, and after you changed all your settings, you can click apply and it will apply all the settings that you've changed. This is something that I would like to see changed here. When it comes to LAN, and these are all the very basic settings. You can change the IP address here. You can change DHCP related settings. But here is something that is not available in almost any other wireless router in its class. Something that you can enable a DNS uh, filtering. DNS filtering will allow you to provide some sort of a web filtering umbrella and you have several options that are defined right here. For example, clean browsing adult will block malicious content, content and sexual content. So if that's something that you're looking to do, you, you turn the settings on right here and select clear browsing adult. And not only that, you can enable it on all clients. You as a, as a, as a consumer can select certain clients and exclude them from this filtering. Again, you will need to press apply and wait for the setting to be, for the setting to be applied. But think about how great this feature can be when, especially when it comes to a household with maybe little children or something like that. Absolutely superb. When it comes to when, of course, there are a lot of things you can do right here. If you need to change your connection type from automatic IP, meaning DHCP to PPPoE or something like that, you can do it here. But not only that, you can enable on this device dual WAN. For example, if you have two ISP connections and some small businesses and medium businesses do it, you can connect multiple uh, WAN interfaces. For example, one hardlined and one LTE. One more thing is port forwarding. We will see in a minute or two how this device is uh, maybe uh, gets you some gaming centric features, for example, automatic creation of port forwarding rules based on, uh, based on the type of game that you're playing. But this is uh, uh, the classic way to create a port forwarding uh, uh, rule. For first of all, you will need to enable port forwarding. And once applied, it's basically something uh, uh, that you can either select from a list of known services or from several well-known gaming, uh, gaming uh, titles. And of course, DDNS, something that I uh, uh, frequently use. These are all the, let's say, the most classic features. Of course, you have IPv6, uh, uh, VPN features. I am not going to uh, uh, go into that right now, but you have uh, the option to create a VPN uh, on this router and provide yourself 
a, a remote connectivity into your network, which is always a, a great thing. Of course, a firewall and several administration features like changing the operating mode and changing the, the password, the time zone, maybe going to check if there is a firmware upgrade. One thing that I do recommend that you do is to enable auto firmware upgrade and set it to somewhere at night. If you know that you are not the kind of person that frequently goes and checks if there's an update, let the router do it for you. Something that's uh, very, uh, let's say, unique that I have noticed in this router, you can even play with a fan uh, if you want to allow it to just be on low, maybe to uh, maybe minimize the noise. But let's jump into the more interesting stuff. For example, AI mesh. This device can mesh itself together when it comes to large properties. It can provide a mesh network and just seamlessly cover your entire property and clients will simply roam from one node to another without needing to change the SSID, without needing to manually connect to the a, 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 a wireless network that the other a, node is providing. It will just be seamless and something that you should enable a, when you do that is to enable the backhaul mod, which will enable a sort of a backhaul communication band between the nodes and it will free up a bandwidth for regular a, a, a network traffic. Guest network. This will create a separate SSID that is segregated from your, let's say, core network and clients that connect to this guest network will not be able to communicate and reach devices that are on your, let's say, a, a, a internal network. A very handy feature. I strongly recommend that you enable it. If you're the kind of person that, uh, 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 the kind of house that guests are always coming to, definitely enable this feature. AI protection is something that I really think Asus needs to get a kudos uh, uh, from everyone. They have given us security features that are really on the top level and uh, maybe only found on enterprise level gear usually. When you turn on AI protection, you get security features that, uh, from what I understand, are in, uh, in partnership with Trend Micro, which is a very well-known uh, security vendor. And look at what we're getting here. We're getting malicious site blocking, two-way IPS. Now, IPS is something that is usually very uh, CPU intensive and luckily this this device is coming with a, 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 a quad core cpu which can handle the load of ips and we even have infected device prevention and blocking meaning that the, the uh, router can scan your network and if it finds a potentially infected device it will block it from communicating uh, with other uh, devices on the network and you even get parental control, something that we know from other vendors. In this case, Asus have done it in a very, in a very polished kind of way. For example, you can select a client and select if you want to uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, filter it from adult website, from instant messaging, which is something that is very, let's say, uh, a soft spot in today's world, maybe prevent it from using a peer-to-peer -peer, streaming and entertainment and you can even deep dive into what specific services you want to maybe allow in this category absolutely great and well polished and mostly easy to use um, let's jump over to game now this device is not being marketed as a gaming router but it does provide very strong features when it comes to gaming features. For example, you can prioritize gaming devices. Let's turn this feature on, for example, and click on the Add button. Select My Device, for example, and apply. And from this moment on, My Device will be considered as a gaming device and it will be prioritized 
in, in comparison to other devices on the network, an absolutely amazing feature. And down here, OpenNet, which is a fancy way of providing, uh, of creating port forwarding. Let's click on go right here. And this really takes us to this open net right here. And according to predefined gaming, uh, let's say famous uh, gaming title, titles, we can click on add, select our game, for example, I don't know, Call of Duty, the internal IP address I want to provide this pre-built port forwarding will be, for example, my device, click on OK, click on apply, and from this moment, the device will, will configure all the port forwarding relevant for this game title. So as you can see, when it comes to being feature rich, I think that this device really takes one of the top spots out there. It provides a lot of connectivity features and a lot of software features. But what about the speed, you might ask? I'm going to take my phone and do a little speed test of the Wi-Fi. All right, so my mobile device, which is Wi-Fi 6 enabled device, is now connected to the uh, uh, Wi-Fi network of the Asus router. And let's open up a web browser and go into fast.com and look at this amazing speed. It almost utilizes my entire link I get from my ISP. I'm sure it's not 610, uh, maybe it does, but the thing is that this device utilizes my entire bandwidth on Wi-Fi. So guys, as you can see, the Wi-Fi speed on this device is absolutely great. Security features are abundant, which makes this device, along with all its connectivity features, an absolute beast of a device which is worthy of being the core of your home network. So guys, I hope you like this video and join me all on the next one. Bye everyone.